I'm Dr. Nina Will. I'm a facial plastic surgeon at Burton Will Plastic Surgery and Dermatology. And today I want to talk about uh, going through the process of a rhinoplasty consultation. This is one of the most common procedures that I uh, perform. And these patients are coming in um, complaining generally of either their nose just not fitting their face, or they've had a hump their whole life and they're tired of it, um, or they've had some injury that's less left them with some asymmetry. So I just wanted to walk you through what a rhinoplasty consultation is like, some of the features we discuss, some of the measurements we take, and how we uh, come up with the options uh, to give you the best results as possible. So I have pulled up a patient who um, is kind of an example of a uh, preoperative rhinoplasty uh, patient. First thing we talk about after going through what her concerns are, what um, it is that she's looking to achieve from this procedure, going through background as to any nasal issues she's having, obstruction, injury, allergies, and all of that. Then we start kind of going through the actual exam. So this patient is coming in complaining of some nasal congestion. Some of it we can attribute it to allergies, but some of it was um, from a deviated septum that she has been told that she had. Um, has had um, from previous exams, but had never really done anything about it's it. It's also from a cosmetic standpoint, complaining of her tip of her nose being um, asymmetric. Um, she also feels like there's like a little cleft um, in the tip of her nose, as well as the tip of her nose kind of hanging down. Um, that seems to make her nose feel like it's too big for her face, too long, um, and uh, was looking for a more refined version of that tip. Um, she also wanted to kind of narrow um, her nose a bit and shorten it. So when we uh, talk about the nose, we want to look at several different aspects from this view. First thing we talk about is the length of the nose. And the length of the nose is determined from the top of the nose here to the bottom of the tip right here. And the length of the nose should be about one third of the face. So this really is more about geometry and proportions than it really is about art and uh, being creative. It's really about using math and science to give you the nose that fits, you, uh, fits your face best. So after determining that you know, the length of her nose was a little bit long, the next thing we look at is the width of the nose. And so that is determined at the base of the nose. And we drop an imaginary line from the inside corner of the nose on both sides. And ideally, the base of the nose falls within um, that imaginary line. And once we determine whether or not it does or doesn't, in her case, it does fall within those lines. And so we know that the tip of the nose isn't too wide um, or even too narrow. The next thing we look at is the bones of the nose, which is really the top half of the nose. And we want to see, are there asymmetries there? Are there um, old fractures that we're seeing and noticing? Um, and we want to see how narrow the nose is to give her the most aesthetic look. After that, we look at the tip of the nose and we're looking for the size of the tip, we're looking at the shape, we're looking at the symmetry, and all of those kind of come into play when we're coming up with the uh, recommended plan. So now I'm gonna take you through a side profile of that same patient. So this is her on a side profile. And again, we're kind of going through all those different steps of measuring the nose, um, looking, at, looking for asymmetries, but on the side, is where we also get an idea of how far does the nose extend from the plane of the face. So we call that projection. So how far does the nose project out from the face? And we want to make sure that that is in line with kind of uh, normal uh, geometric uh, numbers that we use. And the next thing we look at is how does the nose rotate from the plane of the face. Is it rotated up? Is it rotated down? Is it straight? For women, ideally, that it is rotated at a slight angle, so at around you know 100 degrees or 105 degrees. For men, we actually want that to be more of a 90 degree angle. So there are different measurements for based on um, whether we're dealing with a male or female patient. So in looking at her nose, it be her hump becomes a little bit more obvious. Um, so that is something she's interested in addressing. And from here, we also notice that it kind of almost becomes a little bit beak-like um, towards the tip of her nose, and she wants to address that as well. But the overall projection, so how far her nose sticks out from her face, and the overall rotation of her nose actually looks pretty good 
from this angle. So once we've done the history from the patient and the exam, then I start talking about what it is we can do to give her a nose um, that she's looking for.